Wait, this isn't the six pack I was looking for. Hey, Coach Ashley here at the Critical Bench Compound. And yes, we're not looking for a six pack of beer. We are here to get a six pack on our abs. All right, so real fast, I'm gonna give you guys three of my favorite dumbbell core exercises, but I also have a nice report for you. Click the link below. It's gonna be my five best core killers that you're gonna wanna supplement these three movements with right afterwards. So if you're looking to burn out your core, you're looking to get a real six pack, not a beer six pack, you're gonna want that free report. But let's go ahead and get started. My three favorite dumbbell movements, one is gonna be a single leg V up, the second one, a dumbbell knee tuck. The third is a dumbbell Russian twist. So as you see, I'm already seated. All three of these can be done seated. Um, they can be done on a bench as well. Maybe if you're at the gym and you're not looking to do anything on the ground. But starting with that single leg V up, we're gonna take one dumbbell. Now you can do a double leg V up as well. I prefer single leg just for the focus. The key part about a V up is you can't bring your leg up before your upper body. Right, so too many people do a V up like this, but that's not a V, I think we would call that a U up. So key part is bringing the upper body up first before we bring the lower body. And then eventually coordination happens and we have our single leg dumbbell V up. These are fantastic. I do V-ups probably two to three times a week, whether it's a double leg V-up or a single leg V-up. Again, I prefer a single leg V-up um, just because as you're starting to fatigue, you're starting to do your core at the end, single leg something you can focus on a little bit easier. All right, my second movement I'm gonna show you is gonna be the dumbbell Russian twist. And this one I'm gonna go still with my heavy dumbbell. I do have a lighter dumbbell for my third movement. So on that Russian twist, our heels are anchored. Now you can do the heels up, and we do often see it like this, but you see how my legs are swaying side by side. Unless you can do it with a nice erect spine and without bending the knees or moving them, sure, keep your feet up. Personally, I wanna focus more on my core, not stabilizing my legs. I dig my heels into the ground, shoulder blades back pocket. You have a nice straight neutral spine. Elbows are wide and a Russian twist. We're not taking the dumbbell for a ride. We're actually rotating, pulling the elbow to the back side, back pocket and dropping. Leaning back a little bit more, you're gonna engage that core a little bit better. But again, notice my entire upper body is twisting up and over twisting, really engaging that core with a little bit of dumbbell resistance. My third and final favorite core movement, this one can be done on the ground. Often you see it done on a bench, but we're gonna go on the ground. I went a little bit lighter. One, because as you know, I am postpartum, I'm still working on my lower abdominals. I think a lot of women struggle with that. Even men, your lower abs are so hard to hit. So when we're here, placing your hands back, we're gonna lean back and we're gonna bring those knees up towards your chin. Core stays nice and tight. Try not to get that doming on the stomach, ladies and men. Wrap your ribs is what I like to call it, wrap your ribs. Often we say pull your belly button to your spine. You can do that as well, but you wanna make sure your ribs stay nice and wrapped. Full extension, up and down. If that's really difficult, you can just go to a knee tuck. But guess what? We're not here for easy today. We're here for a challenge. I want you to try all three of those movements and then go ahead and check out those five best core killers. Again, the report is down below in the drop comment. Check it out. I'll see you guys next time. Coach Ashley at the Critical Bench.